What's good everybody? What you are looking at is a time lapse I put together to capture my first mule project. Figured it'd be a cool way for you guys to see the process, see some behind the scenes of you know how I made it, what I did for a week. I guess I would say I've been painting for for real like three years uh really taking it seriously kind of chasing it as a career the idea of a mural is something that i've been plotting on for about that same amount of time i've always known it's something i wanted to do really been on my mind the past like year and a half and that's kind of where the process of thinking through what we're looking at first started I had known that I wanted to paint this wall in particular pretty much from the onset of when I started thinking about murals again this year. This is my childhood park. It means a lot to me just in the history of my life and my friends and community. I knew this building in particular would be a great spot for it just in location and just the wall itself. It's perfect and asking for something to be done. And so I sought out to just kind of get permission to do this project from the city. Thankfully to my mom and her connections, I got the contact of the right people to just propose the idea to the city, explain eloquently who I am, what I do, what I'm seeking to do, and just hope that, you know, it was received well, and thankfully it was. So we started the process, met a lot of city individuals, including the mayor, city manager, community deputy director, um, a whole bunch of people came in to work on this, thankfully, and helped me see this dream, which is just amazing. The ideation process for this piece was a very long and painful one. Just being that I work in three-dimensional art in my day-to-day -day work and this being two-dimensional just created a lot of differences, a lot of challenges, and completely changed how I could wrap my brain around just coming up with what I wanted to do. It took weeks of different ideas, sketches, renditions, themes, just really throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks for a long time until I finally wrapped my head around what I truly wanted to say, what I truly wanted to do visually. I chose to do a lot of brush work because it's just something I'm more comfortable in. It's, it is conducive a lot better to very clean lines, in my opinion, and just having a lot more control over my shapes, which is something that I do a lot in my normal work. The themes of like the duality between positive aspirations but negative environments, expanding your horizons, using your influence and your experiences to have a positive change towards your community these are all things that had been present in my ideation process from the get-go these are things i wanted to touch on kind of communicate just with my community the message of the piece is just a conversation of recognizing the negativity in our lives, but then choosing to focus on the positivity instead and working our way forward with that. This can lead to a lot of positive changes, both in our lives and the lives of the ones around us. It can really just be a good message to take with you in your day-to-day -day life. Working on a 2D flat plane is something that I hadn't done in years and it really presented itself with a lot of challenges. You know, I'm not in my comfortable setting, but I'm still setting out to create something that's similar to what I would usually make. On top of that, you also have the much grander scale than anything I've ever created in the past. So this all created a lot of things where I had to figure some new stuff out and really change my process, which was a lot of fun actually. So just went through, blocked in all the solid colors, as you can see in the first steps, 
And then from there is where the real fun was, which is a bunch of taping and a bunch of spray work. Thank you to my girlfriend Kayla. She helped me with the tape of this project. It saved a lot of time and my sanity. Then I got to have fun just blasting the wall with a bunch of spray cans, really bringing the piece to life at that point. It really started coming together around day four when the background got implemented and I could start adding the shading and highlights to all the shapes. From there, it's more tape work and adding my trademark textures. The way I wanted to approach that for this piece is kind of more of a callback to one of my earlier pieces where instead of using molding paste that I do today to create greater textures, I instead opted for sponge work to where it's a flatter texture but still has that implication of detail where it's not as sensitive to, to damage like a molding paste would. I took a lot away from this project that will influence my work moving forward, even on a smaller scale. That was definitely the best unexpected outcome to have come from this piece. My gratitude for this entire experience is indescribable. The amount of support that I've gotten through every step of the way, just being able to get a first in my career of this scale, just everything about it just fills me with joy, fills me with momentum and excitement to continue pursuing these things in my art career. Thank you to the city, thank you to my family, my girlfriend, anyone who's cheered me on along the way, anyone who made me feel like I wasn't crazy. Thank you for my mentor, Mr. Roger. The support system I have is immense and there's not a day that I don't take it for granted. And I hope that that is always reflected in my work and in my daily operations. And if you ever see me, just know that the energy of these people are with me all the time. And with that, here is some finishing looks of the piece and I will catch you guys at the next one. Peace.